We have Aunt Perlene from Duval, from Jacksonville, Florida. Did the, did the, Hi there. Did the uh, hurricane do anything to y'all? So Aunt Perlene, so tell us, do you have any history that you want to tell us, like anything yeah, brief you that you want to say about the family? No, not really. It's just that I feel like I came from a fantastic and a great family. Mm -hmm. And Johnny is over there mimicking me, talking. <laughs> but let me go back. <laughs> you didn't want me to, you kept begging me to do it, so... But I left Georgia at an early age, never to return to live. <laughs> You're the youngest. Yes. Mm -hmm. I left in 1963, perhaps, 64, after our younger brother passed away in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And I was very close to him and actually I Sorry, remember I that right as if it eat? was just yesterday. Mm -hmm. My brother Bobby and I was very close. And actually, I just couldn't stand the thought of losing him. So I didn't want to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. So I was attending Albany State College, but I didn't want to go there anymore. I didn't want to go anywhere. I just wanted to get away. So I went to Jacksonville and went to a business school. And I finished my little course. I met my husband. Mm -hmm. We went back to Georgia and had a big church wedding. Mm -hmm. Come back to Georgia. And that's where I made my home. And of course, my husband passed away the same year my mother did. Okay, okay. Actually, he passed away about three months after mom died in 1990. But I still remain in Jacksonville. We have one son and a daughter. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, you make the best out of what it is. Mm -hmm. And I thank God, in essence, for a good life. Mm -hmm. And as anybody always do, you have good days, you have bad times, good times, but you have to keep looking to the hills from whence cometh your help. And mine come from the Lord. And I always thank God for Jesus. Johnny, what's up? Yes, this is Johnny from Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Duval! <laughs> yeah, 904. <laughs> My mother is Pernice. She's the um, youngest daughter of the Copeland clan. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I was able to get her down here to see, visit her older sister and brother. Okay, okay. And anything that your mom taught you? Or like, like what do you... Um, so your, your, your mother's I'm pregnant, obviously, but anything else you want to add about the Copeland family? Anything else that you were taught that you know that you remember that you recall when you were growing up at family reunions when you were young? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about shopping being pushing the bushes, Tracy. But um, <laughs> Charvette doing what? Getting pushed in the um, bushes. <laughs> Tracy used to love to push cousin Sharvy in the bushes at the family reunions. But um, back then, the family reunions, I mean, I love to come to and get to see your cousins, get to mingle and just have fun. Okay, okay. Simple. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go ahead, I'm Uncle Ron. Good afternoon. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for permitting us to make it down here for the reunion. There was a vision that was made a long time ago by Charmier. She said she wanted to bring everybody together for a Thanksgiving in October, and she's put it off. So God blessed her in a mock manner and gave her the strength to do all the things she did and what she's about to do. So I just want to thank this opportunity and thank God for bringing us to make it down and all the other folks that came and came safely. But God bless Hi, I'm Lutheran Logan. I'm here with my mom to take care of her. Uh, I'm married to Ronald Logan, and we've been together for 44 years. And we got remarried in January of this year, the 24th. We had uh, did our remove tools again, and we're really enjoying ourselves down here right now. And this is Bella Rose. 
She's a part of our family. If you don't, okay. if you don't mind, I'll let the rings on this talk for a minute because she has to continue from yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go fix my own. I just want to take this opportunity to say I thank Charviet, Sheree, Paramore, Woo! God, working yeah! through her, God, God working through her to make this possible for all of us to be together as family. Yeah, yeah. Because with one everything that has gone on, yes. some of us haven't one seen each other for years. years. And it's yeah. been yeah. very yeah. so I thank God for impressing her, giving her the means, giving her the energy, giving her the stamina. Cause she worked really hard, and I'ma tell you, she did a she lot sure of behind-the-scenes things. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at Grandma Grace's house, it's beautiful, right. and we have been so comfortable here. I haven't stayed in my mom's house for years, you know. And I want to thank Charvette for that, and for all the food, for everything, for the preparation. And I'm not trying to build your head or nothing, honey, but no. you deserve it. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> I just want to say, I'm so glad we was together and Shadia yeah. didn't have to end up in the bushes this time. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I want to say, y'all work in mysterious ways because he let that baby have them keys so we can spend a few more hours together. There you go. There you go. Yes. yes. And a lot of us came from out of town, so we asked God for traveling crazy. Yes. And we thank him for allowing us to make it here safely. Yes. That's right. <laughs> This is this is one of the happiest moments of our lives. Family together. What's your name? My name is Dwight Paramore. Titles? I am I'm a nobody that tell everybody about somebody <laughs> okay. who can save anybody. Okay. But mm -hmm. This is happy All right. because nobody's crying mm -hmm. and everybody's smiling. Mm -hmm. This is how family's supposed to get together. I have three children mm -hmm. and I have three grandchildren. Okay. I have Dwight Jr. Mm -hmm. I have and his wife Jasmine. I have uh, Timothy David. Mm -hmm. I have Kiara DeAsia mm -hmm. and her, my grandson Carson. Cameron and Carter. Okay. My grandchildren, my two granddaughters are Carson and Cameron, and Carter's my grandboy. Okay. Okay, okay. awesome. Tracy. Okay. Your, uh, who's your, who are your parents? My parents is Uncle Tellis. Uh -huh. That's my father. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, Uncle Tellis is my father, so that's Aunt Grace's older brother. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that we came together for this joyous time. It's been a long, long time. So it's good to mingle and dingle with the family again. Awesome, awesome. I don't think dingle is a good word. But... So anything else you want to add, like as far as you know, you know about the family or anything you were told? Or um, I just know it was a close-knit family. We always got together every year. Mm -hmm. But since... Uncle Tellis, which is my yeah, father, Aunt mm -hmm. Grace, mm -hmm. Aunt Perlene, and Aunt Melody mm -hmm. are older now. Mm -hmm. We can't have that good Copeland family reunion awesome like we did when I was a little girl. I miss those times, so this really means a lot today. And who are your kids? My kids is Quanisha uh -huh. and Sherman. Mm -hmm. They're both here. Mm -hmm. Quanisha's over here to my... Uh -huh. My son is, I think, out back. Yeah, I know. He's sitting back there. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, when I was a kid in Georgia, I always, always wanted to be the, the, the head leader. And I always had fighting in my mind. I wanted to be tough. And down to my life. I was. Uh, I used to keep the boys on the run <laughs> all the time. They always hollered. They go to old Copeland boy. <laughs> and they started running. And if they didn't run, they knew I would put some on. But anyway, Javier, we need to leave all that to show. And we got, went on down to life. We got in school together. In school. Leave the school. I couldn't wait to get off the school. Okay.
He could fight with somebody. So that was the right way. He was wrong. But thank be to God. He had more power than I did. He let us go. He still let us go, man, with one another. In peace and happiness. How are your parents? Like, huh? Tell me about your, your mom and your dad. My mom and dad, my mama. You know what, man? She was oh? always. Really? Yeah, living out. Take a little But daddy, he was always. Yeah. Well, do something, kept me on the go. Showing me how to farm and how to move some things out in the field. And always shift time and tell me what I was doing, right and wrong. And, and we would put a hook to me if I was wrong. You know? And I knew that. And my mom, she always had that little kind, kind heart and lovely mind. Want to make sure that I be right and do right and act right, and she would put me too if I was wrong. The only thing I had to do was stay on right and right, and I would make it through everything all right. Mm -hmm. But I have did some different things and got some good chest ties, good chest ties. It built, it had been built, and sit down and counsel, all that hope me down to life. Yeah. My mother and father. And so tell me, like, like tell me, like, um, like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. Tell me, um, we go like better, like this. All right. So tell me, like your, your neighbor. Like tell me about your friends. Like tell me about how your like your neighborhood friends were. Tell me like how it was with your um with Mama Grace or like um um um, um Perlene or like how how did you all get along? Like what did y'all do as simply like what did y'all do together? Well, we were together very you know, together. So every once in a while, you know how kids would be. Get up some kind of Naked argument, mm -hmm. yeah. but it wasn't nothing to last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pass a few leaks and it was a mm -hmm. And if you pass a few leaks, if I was wrong, I'd get out there another licking from my mother or either my father. Mm -hmm. So the best thing then to do is to keep your hands to yourself mm -hmm. and they'll be all right. Mm -hmm. but I learned one thing just late night today. Sometimes you just can't ask somebody to stop. No, yeah. They, they, don't have, they don't have the ability to stop. They think they should keep on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep on. Mm -hmm. Keep on. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later they come to the end. They know they, know they were wrong. Mm -hmm. And everything got better. We always have our little arguments and things, but we soon get it over and, and go ahead on and forget about it. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. it go on for a few days, a few weeks, or maybe a few months. It come up again. Mm -hmm. But it didn't last long. Mm -hmm. We knew it was wrong, but we knew if the parents for it, mom and dad found it. We gotta get another woman. If who 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 was fighting be the we gotta get another woman for mama and dad. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is just stay right and stay to stay to so make sure that you try not to do nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. So how was it like, um, how was it going to like, um, like, to church? Or we have to use the road by 11 miles to church. Uh -huh. I had to get it early on Sunday morning mm -hmm. to leave you home and walk by down about 11 miles, 10, 11 miles to church. Uh -huh. And had to be there for Sunday school. Uh -huh. And we made it go. They got us up, got us up and got to that Sunday school. Every Sunday, not one Sunday, but every Sunday, it wasn't raining. And if it was raining, he had dad try to make rain, man. So I had an had a damn bus like he pick us up and take us down to the church. That's how that went. Okay. So we had to be in that church on Sunday morning. How about school? Like, how about your school? Like, how was your, what kind of school did you go to? What, what were your teachers like? Well, we started, started school at, uh, 
the school at Pepper Hill Plantation. A what? Pepper Hill oh, Pepper Plantation. Hill. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They had the grammar school there. Are you mad with your brother? I went there for so long. Then I left there and I went to a school called Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And I went there until I was in seventh, seventh grade. And I left there and went to Pepper Hill. Mm -hmm. That's where I finished Pepper Hill and then they. I went to BC down there for, I went to the day three going for high school. And that's where I, I stayed there until I come out of high school. That's when I stopped and, and just really started farming that. So basically, you basically stopped and then you started going like to your, doing a job, work, work. Huh? You went to work, actually. What was my work? Yeah. My work was... So when I first started out, my work was working out there in the field, plowing yes. the mule, uh -huh. working the farm. Uh -huh. and that, that, was my, that, was my, that was my job. Okay. And then I had to feed to see that the animal fed and watered. I couldn't stay with and all that stuff. That was my job, to take care of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and and from that, I had to make sure they check all, all fences, all stabilizers, and make sure they had to put pen in where they couldn't get out and get away. That was my job. And I did that. But I did that all the time until I got up on the side. Mm -hmm. From that to, to, to the field, from that to the field. Working in the field. In the field. Mm -hmm. so, and that. I'm working in the field. Of, we're going to call start flying. Start flying a mule. And flying the mule to a track. Well, all that was down through the line. The infield of strong. And come after that, just take care of the crop and the animal. Make sure they was stabilized right where they wouldn't get away. And if they had plenty of food and water to drink. That was that. That was that for that piece. So, like, when you got older, like when you became like an adult, like when you left the um, when you left the, um, the the farm, what kind of job did you have after you became an adult? I was driving a truck hauling hay. Okay, okay. Used to haul hay mm -hmm. every every day while harvest time for getting in hay. Mm -hmm. And after that, I think I was getting in the hay then I went from that to the uh, taking care of the stock, <coughs> feeding it, feeding it, and make sure they fed it, they fed the water and it, and the fish, you know, they were playing in, make sure they didn't get out. That was my next job. And after, after that, I kind of left home. And got out there on my own a little bit. Okay. And began to fly and, and do a lot of things. Just do a lot of hunting, grinding, looking for wild holes. I go out and catch wild holes. Root wild holes like cowboy did. Okay. Put some cows on the wild cows and bring them. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll let you, I'll let, I'm going to um, take a break.